This is Jeffrey Harris, born in 1966 and grew up in Georgetown, Kentucky. Growing up, he was smart and inquisitive and did well in his early years at school, but like many people, he was unsure what direction he wanted to take in life and ultimately this followed him into adulthood. He always knew he wanted to do something different, he just didn't know what. Motivation waned and grades slipped. College dropout was inevitable. Employment opportunities were scarce in rural Kentucky, even for the qualified. Jeff spent much of his 20s bouncing between menial jobs and disappointing his parents and his long-term girlfriend, Melissa. In a show of change, he moved out with Melissa for the nearby town of Moldra in the early 90s. He planned to secure a job at the nearby Fort Knox military base. This did not pan out. Jeff failed to make any meaningful connections and found himself stuck flipping burgers in the town. Melissa was promised change, all she got was a longer commute to Frankfurt. After many fights, she left him to return home. Left in a house he could not afford alone, and stuck in a chain of dead-end jobs, Jeff slipped into a deep, reclusive depression. Responsibilities like going to work, shopping for food, and even answering the door fell by the wayside. Reality TV consumed him. News channels went unwatched. The increased activity outside went unnoticed. He slept through the order to evacuate. It was only when he became desperately low on food, Jeff realised he needed to act. And it was only then that he discovered the zombie apocalypse had started, and he hadn't even fucking noticed. Alright, welcome to Project Zomboid. My name is Sergeant Smoothie, and this is episode 1 of what I hope will become a long-term survival series on Build 41 in hardcore mode of Project Zomboid. So, this is of course the main character, the main man, Jeffrey Harris. He's 27, he flips burgers, he's out of shape, I think he's overweight, and um, I'll ba I balance the uh, traits out to zero. We'll go into those at a later date. I'll be honest, this little part here is just a re-record, because I stuffed at the start of the video, so we'll cut back into the main man, me, here. So yes, Jeffrey Harris, loser, extraordinaire, he's going to change the world. The zombie apocalypse has happened, he is completely unprepared, he has no food, he has nothing. Let's see where we are in our starter house. There's a few zombies over there. Shift and click to close curtains. Very quick way to close them. Um, not that easy to do sometimes. Um, I know this window is quite difficult to put um curtains on from experience from previous playthroughs wow i really set the law quite accurately didn't i I wasn't lying when i said there was no food in the house i mean we might as well stack these empty jars together empty jar ah oh, they don't have the lids so yeah it requires jar lid this is good in the end game pickling food is a thing i'll tell you what i'm just gonna arm myself with a bread knife initially it's marginally better than nothing it looks I mean, big morale boost, big morale boost. The sprite for the bread knife is quite a lot more intimidating than the logo for the bread knife when you pick it up. Um, it looks a lot better in my character's hand than it does in his inventory. So, yes, jar lids, you can pick all crops when you grow them. For example, you need sugar, vinegar, water, and obviously the jar lid. Jar lids themselves can be quite hard to come by. Did I see a sheet? I did not. I saw a bandage, though. Mm. I'm going to hold that on my character. So... Just one thing I want to say about this game, I have a belief that the inventory is a bit cheaty. So, yes, I have um, pockets, but it's not really realistic for my character to be holding two radios, a uh, sports bag and things like that in their pockets. So I don't, I'm not going to just grab all these, well, Jesus, all these books. <laughs> this, is, this is an amazing bookshelf. God, farming for beginners. I put that with the other beginner books. Expert foraging, metal work for beginners. Uh, two magazines, excellent. A notebook. Wow, how to use generators as well. Okay, this is an epic bookshelf. And this is in the kids' room as well. Another, fa is that food farming for beginners? I think it is. Okay, well, we'll take that one downstairs. Yeah, we've got farming for, beginner for beginners up here as well. So, um, I mean, um, engineering mag. Okay, that's, okay, that's very lucky. Good start, good start. Um, I don't think I'll find anything else good in this house though, just because that's too good for a hardcore playthrough. I'm playing on the um, combat oriented one just because I found the other one is just, I don't know, for my playstyle I've just found it nearly unbearably hard. Ooh, paint. Bag of concrete, oh, box of nails, okay. We've got some good stuff in the start house, we have some very good stuff. So, I mean, based on the lore that I set up for this character, I said that he would... Um, 
not be able to afford this house without his partner. Now, yeah, I agree with that. I just don't think in the modern day anyone would be able to afford this house even with a partner if one person was flipping burgers and the other was doing, say, just a, a medium range job. It's a massive house. It's um, very. It reminds me of The Simpsons very much because Homer had two cars, one job, dead end tasks, probably pay, obviously paying better than minimum wage, but not far off. And he was able to support a family. But of course, um, I mean, The Simpsons was in its heyday in 1993, so. Um, I guess Jeffrey Harris just isn't any Homer Simpson. He can't run a house on his own without his Marge to support him and to support um, the house with him. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about this. It's just quite funny that he's got such a big house. I wish I had such a big house. Flipping burgers. Anyway, ran over. So sheets can be obviously put over windows. I'm not sure the best window. I think this will be the best window to put it over. The reason I'm putting it over this one and not the one on the right is because if you try and add a sheet to this window, you can only add it from the outside. So... That's a glitch specific to this window. Oh wow, my character is my... My character is my viewership. They are bored. What's with bookshelf downstairs like? I mean, still some good books just in the master category. No good to us now. Ah, uh, nothing in here. Okay. I'm just going to keep an eye on my preview window to make sure that the game isn't stuttering. Um, it might do as I go outside here. I'm sorry if it does. Um, it appears to be in line with what I'm experiencing. So the stutter that you're seeing, I'm seeing as well. So it shouldn't be... Completely unbearable. Anything in the tool shed? Oh, there's a zombie approaching us. Is that another one? It's just one for now. Always worth checking your six just before they approach you. Nothing worse than being... Oh, okay, no, I don't want to use a knife, actually, can I? Because the knife will break after two or three stabs. Okay. Come on, push over. Finally. Um, use space to save your weapons durability. Okay, you had bugger all on you. Oh, now you're thirsty. Should have drank before I left. Um, but I don't really think I'm going to be putting the world on fire with my first trip out of the house. One thing I really want initially is a watch, so I know the time. Um, sure. Oh, fuck, a generator. Shouldn't have swore, but I did. Anything around the side? Can't get too excited and just get bit. Yes, yeah, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Get back, moustache man. Just gonna get killed by the entire cast of the village people. So I can stand on this. It's really growly. Shut up. You can stand on the zombies and then attack other zombies. Oh, another one. But something else you can do is you can have zombies stand on each other. So one zombie will stand on another, which is really handy because you can push over a zombie and then they won't be able to get up if there's a horde chasing them. I mean, the horde will be your primary concern. I hear another one. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Oh god, there's just a little horde in this bush, isn't there? Okay, so now I'm going to put that into action. I'm going to stand on this zombie. I'm going to push this zombie over, can I? Maybe I'll just have to use the bread knife. Okay. Ah, see, now I've let that zombie up. Oh, just going to do do between the two. If the third comes over now, it's curtains. Okay, can I just... Oh, yes! A, a break. Two breaks, actually, because the knife broke as well. Oh, and a watch! Yes, that's what I want. Oh, wait, no, not equip primary, sorry. Um, Equip... Uh, okay. Where? Left wrist. And we've missed the Life and Living um, channel at 12, so as I'm sure experienced players are aware, um, Life and Living TV plays crucial... Uh, programs that can aid your experience in the early game. Uh, programs are... Ed approaching. Programs are aired at 6am, 12pm and 6pm, but I think there's some days where they're aired at 9pm and some days where they're aired at 3pm. There's a list on, I think, the Project Zomboid subreddit and as well just on the wiki. I tell you what, I like wearing two watches. The only this doesn't it's not a thing, really, Like, it, but if the watch was to be pulled off your character, that could be devastating if you didn't replace it. So I like to wear two, because if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I would wear two watches. All right, I'm kind of um, going in circles here. I know I can't get in this house, so let's just clear the zombies around the house. God, no weapon fighting. Come on, dude. See, this zombie looks burlier than my character, so... 
spam space. I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard. This, I tried everything to try and um, not have it picked up, but I think I'm just going to edit everything out as much as I can and post and anything left over. There was just nothing I can do about. Um, I've got it on a cloth. I've got it on like sitting on things to make the keys quieter, and it's quite a quiet key keyboard anyway. And it's just the mic is just too sensitive, unfortunately. That what I'm doing there will cause lag, I know, um, and I'm sorry about that as well. Let's just kill a zombie. So first priority is going to get food. Um, of course, my character needed food. That's why he was out. Of. That's why he finally left the safety of his home and discovered the zombie apocalypse had started. Um, and obviously, Cortman Medical needs to be raided. I Cortman Medical obviously has a good start level base above it, away from your main base. But the house we've started in is one of the best houses to start in in the game, in my opinion. Um, the only issue is it's a bit of a far trip. Oh, sorry, a bit of a far trek from everything else. But there's really good houses around it. There's low zombie count, and it's a big house. And you can go you can set up the upstairs. You can put a sheet rope out the window if you find a hammer and nails. And we have a box of nails, so we just need to find a hammer. This window is not opening. The fact that all the windows are locked down this hard makes me think this might be an alarmed house, so I do not want to risk an alarmed house right next to my base because I have nowhere else to go right now. And I should be crouching actually as well. Oh, you have a knife in you. Well, I bet it's a bread knife. I bet it's a bread knife, but it might be a, a machete. You never know. Uh, it looks like a letter opener actually. Hmm, I don't know if I'm weaker doing the crouch thing. C so to crouch in the new build 41. And, um,. God's sake. I'm gonna cut this out. That's a fork. Pencil might be useful. Again, I, oh, I'm carrying around farm for beginners. Okay, not having that. That's not gonna fit in my back pocket. As I said, by the rules I created myself, I would not be able to tuck that into my back pocket, would I? So, I shouldn't be carrying that around. Only things which I could actually reasonably carry in my pockets are going to go in them until I get a bag. Even just a carrier bag. Or a Ooh, unlocked. Z to quick change in the car, and if I press this, then I can unlock the trunk or the boot, as it should be called. Oh, we got candy cane. Okay, I'm just gonna eat that straight up. Character's already hungry. Nothing else of use. No keys. It's worth always checking. No key for this car found. It's worth always hovering over the hat because sometimes, if I press E, I'll get out of the driver's side. So the Z key to bring up that menu that you saw is I'll leave that in there. Very useful for um, changing over the, over the side of the car so you don't get then get out the wrong side of the car and get killed by a zombie. So always worth doing that. Um, if you're going to break into a car, break the passenger window. No good breaking the driver's side window because you might just get bit by a zombie as you drive past, which is well, not actually happened to me yet, but very annoying, I can ma I'd imagine. Because it definitely just bite you. I doubt it even gets scratched and I bet it just somehow nom you through the window. Here's zombies, but I don't know where. Obviously, my character's at. Ooh. Do I risk it? No alarm. Turn around. That animation for closing the window is dead slow. It always makes me nervous. If there was an alarm in this house, well, we'd be in real trouble, given the proximity to our base. To our house, our base. It's not really a base, is it? God, I hear a lot of zombies in it. Cooking for beginners. Oh, I want that. I'm gonna come back for that. I hear zombies. I don't see any weapons though. It sounds like they're upstairs or they're at the back door. This door isn't shaking. A door will shake when it's being bashed by a zombie. I scroll through here. I'll give myself a break. I'm going to say that you can fit a can opener in your back pocket. Where is that zombie? Do we venture upstairs and risk it? Also, let's just drop this bread knife. I don't like the um, the animation for dropping things can be really loud. And, and oh, there's there's the door that's shaking. Let's just stay clear of that room. I'm pretty sure that's a children's room anyway. So. interested. Bleach, um, I mean, good for killing yourself. You can actually use it with a mop, I found out, to uh, get blood off walls. I didn't know that. 
Oh, come on, Alex, you're being too slow. My name is Alex, by the way. Okay, I'm going to say that I can put these things in my pockets. I'm kind of breaking my own rules now, but it just feels a bit dire right now. Short skirt. Gun case, okay. Oh, sugar. I'm just quite unnerved by the amount of zombie noises I'm hearing right now. Is there anything in this gun? Well, there is a pistol. That's basically useless right now, though. I do not want to be firing a gun at this stage of the game. Was there anything in the fridge? Fresh avocado. I mean, I'll tell you what, again. Oh, I've got a gun case now. I don't need to break my own rules. Oh, there's ramen as well. Oh, I can, this this uh, kitchen is a bit of a nightmare. Loot all. Okay, apparently I'm now over encumbered. I think we're going to take this cooking for beginners book and get out of here. That really might be useful. In fact, all of this is useful. Loot all. I don't really believe that I could fit four books in this uh, box, but okay, I'm going to give myself a pass again and get out of this house. We'll come back when we've got a weapon, I think, to dispatch that upstairs zombie. And the back door zombie? God, name of bad porno. I think we need to get rid of that one, definitely. So that crouching, yeah, crouching and then holding shift to crouch run is very useful, but I do think it really saps your... Um, Oh, for God's sake. Um, okay, where's my gun case? Let's just unequip that a second and fight this zombie. Saps your um, stamina so that you end up exhausted. Obviously, if you're encumbered, well, like I was when I was holding, ooh, when I was holding that, then uh, the gun case, then I would then um, be less effective at fighting. Good bite and scratch defense on that. See, look, I'm very over-encumbered holding it like this. If I equip secondary. It <laughs> barely it makes any difference. It's basically a lunchbox. Okay, well, I'm just going to decant all my stuff, and then we're going to watch some life and living, I think. And drink as well. 30. I think um, when your thirst goes over 14, or so for 15, I think that's when you get thirsty. Um, I may be wrong. I'll have to look it up. So I'm just going to cut here and just ditch everything out of my bag and then we'll watch Life and Living, I think. Alright, we're going to come back to this. Um, my mouse was just playing up just then, but let's set up Life and Living TV. I don't want to wait any longer. Turbo, Life and Living. Now, I'm not sure what the... Ah, perfect. We're just in time for Exposure Survival. If you sit on the ground, you can also rest, I think. Um, but I don't, you don't, there's no animation for actually sitting down, so we're sitting on the floor in front of the sofa for now. When you rest, I think you face the sofa and you get a... Ooh, fishing plus 16.25. Um, so I should say one of the traits I took was fast learner. Um, based on the law that I said at the start, um, he, he did well at school when he was younger, so he was, he was a fast learner. He just didn't apply himself properly and uh, ended up in the situation he's in now fighting the zombie apocalypse it could happen to anyone and if you heard that noise just then that is the new level up noise so if we check our skill tree we now have and that's it but we have one level of fishing now this is 1993 remember so of course tv didn't always um tune in i'm just going to turn it off actually wait before we do just turn it off let's just turn that volume right down Obviously, the television can attract zombies. I should have noticed that before. Um, so, because our character's a fast learner, he now has one level of fishing unlocks. It would have usually been plus 12.5. Um, I was... I've put the salt and uh, pepper in the fridge because it's just where I am when I'm making stir fries and things and I don't want to go back and forth. I'm trying to keep things separate. I didn't actually finish unpacking all my stuff before 6 because my mouse started playing up, unfortunately. Right, there we go. We'll just quickly go out again. It's not quite dark yet. I can't remember what time it gets dark in the game, but it's um, the 9th of July in quite a high latitude area of the world, so I suspect it'll get dark around 9pm. So I think we've got some time yet. 
But I don't want to risk this house. It's way too late to be attracting a horde to us. And we are hungry. I should have eaten before we left. I should have drank before we left as well. One of the things I did, I found a, um, a mug of water. And uh, it's always worth filling up any containers you find with water. Even if it's just leaving them where they are, you don't have to carry them around with you. But that's another thing as part of my not carrying things in my pockets shtick. I'm going to uh, not be carrying a mug of water around. I don't really believe that you can swing a baseball bat two-handed and then also hold a mug of water at the same time and not spill any of it. Nor do I believe you can have a full... Oh, God. A full mug of water and have it in your bag. I just don't buy that as a thing. Let's go in a sneaky mode. Okay, there's quite a few zombies around here. We really need a weapon. Um, I'm going to risk this house here. If there's an alarm, we're just going to book it back and go straight to bed. That's what I always do when I find trouble in my life. I just tend to just run home and dive into bed, and all the problems don't exist in my bed. Anyway. Quite a large horde outside this house. I say a large horde, is four zombies, but you have to remember the character's a complete useless sack of turd, so he cannot really fight anything, even if he had a weapon. Oh, there's one in the trees as well. Ooh, I think I'm going to just go in the house and see if I can find what I need. Uh, scratch that. That zombie there is likely to see me when I start doing this. I hear zombie noises. Oh, I'm going closer to it. Yeah, you've seen me. Okay, well, there's just one at least. I don't hear banging noises. Maybe, it, oh yeah, I've attracted them to bang on the house. Um, I mean, I suppose I can use the zombies to actually break down doors and stuff. I tend, when I see a zombie breaking a door down in a building I want to go in, if I know I'm not going to use it as a base, I, I will just let them break it down. Obviously, it's a free plank of wood, which I can use to barricade or as a weapon. I don't really bother looting the zombies' um, clothes or anything. It might be worth taking his socks, actually, because uh, I can rip them for bandages. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Um, okay, he didn't put them back. Oh, one's dirty. Okay, that's that's clever because obviously it's one had blood on it. Fair play, yeah, that's 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 a good mechanic. You can get light bulbs out of these. Um light bulbs that you place, um they will wear out, the ones that you create. Oh shit. Okay. Are you coming to me? I guess you've seen me, haven't you? There's no way you haven't, yep. Two have seen me. That's not the end of the world. Stand in one, fight the other. Ah, see the, uh, I've turned on the reticle because it's quite hard to play Bill 41 without um, knowing which zombie you're fighting. Um, and the, it would be good if you could sort of scroll way onto switch. I mean, actually, maybe you can, I haven't tried it. But I find the auto switching is a bit, as you saw there, I would have rather carried on stump, stamping on the one on the floor till the last minute. And then fighting the rest. Ah, oh, see, I'm gonna break this glass and it's gonna attract those zombies. But it needs. Oh, I need a weapon, of course. I can't even. Can't swing my gun case and break it. Let's just try. Oh, okay. Blood on the window, apparently. Open no alarm. No alarm. Yes. I mean, I'll shut the window, but. Open. Oh, can I not? Okay, that's strange. I thought I'd be able to. Oh, because I broke the lock. I thought you'd still be able to open it from the inside. Where is that zombie? It must be at the back door? Or oh, upstairs. Okay, bread. Ooh. Bread is good. Okay, always select this. That's where I heard a zombie just coming towards me just then. I'm so sure I can hear zombies right around me. Right, this is risky as hell. Hammer. Quick primary. There's our weapon. Let's get out of here. This is dodgy as hell. Not before grabbing the milk, though. I'm being really risky now. The problem with this game is that if you do not risk it, you will not get anywhere. But I'm not working fast enough right now. Don't need that many spoons. 
some good stuff. God, that zombie noise is absolutely terrifying. Both in good condition. I'll take both actually. If I can, I can't. Okay, we're leaving it. And any chance. Now we've got hammer and nails actually. We're in a good position. What were the books? Farm for an immediate. Uh, that is an important book. Oh, I can't take the other book. The magazine could probably take. Yes. 6.75 out of 7. Obviously, once it's past that point, I'm not able to take anything. Oh, whoa. Okay, I'm, I'm holding that on me. I'm cheating. Whatever. Box of paper clips, electric wire. We'll come back to those things. I mean, this house isn't actually that dangerous anymore. Now that I have what I need, I have the hammer. Oh no, drink. I think we'll live to fight another day. I don't want to attract a horde back to the house. I think we'll leave it there. Of course, now I've opened the door. I can open it from the outside, which I couldn't do when I was outside trying to get in. Whew, that's quite intense, actually. Now where are those zombies? I can always just drop my gun case and fight them. They're not banging on the door. I think they're banging on the far windows. Um, I think for now I'll leave that. I'm not going to be setting up a... Well, I mean, I could set up a base in this house, but I think I'm just going to leave them to break down whatever door they're banging against, because um, there's no door on that side. They must be banging against an internal door. And I'm scared, so we're going to head back. Um, so you can use the walk to mechanic and then fast forward time. And he will also use, if I go through these trees here, he'll also walk. Okay, he went around the trees, but uh, if I try to go through these trees, if you see, he will use the most not tree walking into path in order to make his way through them. So he doesn't rustle as well. Now this is quite useful because you can't always see trees, as in they fade out and look clear until you're walking through them and then you're rustling. Okay, one other thing we need to make sure of, and I know... No, I was about to say we've missed 9 o'clock life and living, but there isn't a 9 o'clock, so we've actually done the right thing. One other thing we need to be aware of is the fact there might be zombies at the house when we come back. And there is! So that's fun. Let's uh, drop my gun case. Oh, how do I... That's it, drop. In, in a pinch. I knew that was a quick way to do it. <laughs> I just forgot what it was. Come on, dude. It's just one zombie. Yes, there you go. Good stamp. Obviously, I'm, if you see, as you see, I'm lining up with the head. It does make it well. Citation needed. Um, can I just now? You can put things on the floor and then loot all from them. That's a good way to um, uh, being silly here. That's a good way to uh, switch bags. Put one bag on the floor and then loot all to get off. Uh, get the bags off the other one. That's definitely something that I'll need to put in that tips and tricks video I'm planning on doing. I do believe I can lock the door as well. So the door's locked, but I don't know if that actually gives any benefit at all. It just I think it might mean that I just have to unlock it before I come back in, and I don't know if that'll just slow me down. It's not something I've tried before. But anyway, on that note, I think I'm just going to de-empty everything, and my character's tired right on cue, but I think I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergeant Smoothie. Um, I'll see you in the next video.